Hey everybody, uh, looking at HPNN, had a request from a viewer for us to take a look, and I gotta say, um, looks familiar to me. Um, you know, this, this looks a lot like ENZC uh, to me. Um, the big difference is you have all of these, all these actions right here in the middle in that peak, uh, whereas ENZC has the two big ones. Um, you know, you got your you, you came down, you, you leveled out, uh, curve up, and you hit this uh, smaller hill. You have a large triangle, you're breaking out. This looks very similar to ENZC to me. Uh, you've got the major trend here is this, uh, this, in, this increasing base. Sorry, got a little tongue-tied or stunted there. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it was the edibles. Uh, but uh, but there is some you know clear clear trend here. Uh, you know uh, volume on Friday was twenty point four million uh, shares traded. Uh, that was that beat the ten day average volume of eighteen point three million. So you can kind of see this here. See it's curving up. That's good. They're turning green. Uh, that's exciting. The fifty and the two hundred are like practically right on top of each other. This could have been the makings of a death cross with the 50 coming down, the 200 going up. But they look like they are just kind of hanging out with each other. Very similar to what ENZC is doing as well, where you've got basically the 50 on top of the 200. Price dropped below the, uh, the 50 and 200, but it also uh, is, is sitting finally uh, pretty firmly above it at the moment. So... Uh, my my big question here is, um, you know, is is our triangle and when we break out. Now, when we break out of that triangle, we should be able to do that on significant volume. So, uh, so when that happens, that will be good. But as you can see, I mean, God, doesn't that look beautiful? That slow stochastic curving up. It looks like it is such a good time to be in this. I, I'm really glad uh, my viewer suggested I do this because I was looking at it and I like it. I, I like what I see. Let's jump into the five day. Um, had a really nice uh, price channel going there and then we break out of it, uh, which is now we did get pushed down. That is a, a lower, you know, I'm sorry, an upper wick on there. That makes me wonder if there's just a lot of resistance and, you know, if we're going to be able to push through that. You might want to draw quite simply a horizontal line, maybe right there. And then uh, when you cross that at 0 0.0035, you would say, okay, I've got some confirmation and I'm going to do that. Volume, volume is just kick butt today on the five day. That right there might be the volume you needed to confirm that you did break out of that trend. Remember, we talked about that trend. We're talking about that triangle, right? You see that triangle right there, and you lifted out of it. So lots, lots to look at here. Lots to be excited about. Um, I, I'm really curious what's going to happen with the uh, the 50 and the 200-day simple moving average. Wondering if this is going to break this resistance, but I'm also seeing something that makes me wish I had gotten in maybe a few days ago. What a nice little rounding bottom right there. You know, it just kind of came down and then kind of curved up, and there it is. I mean, this could turn into a really nice reversal. Anyway, cheers. It was a lot of fun to do it, so thanks so much. And if there's uh, any uh, tickers you guys would like me to look at, happy to do it. Just realize I'm only doing this for myself. I think it's fun. I'm not in any way saying that you should go invest in any of these. That's not where I'm coming from. Just doing this for, for a viewer and, and happy to do it. Um, cheers, y'all.